Hey everybody, welcome back to the kitchen. More importantly, number 50, 50th live stream in a row. So I'll do the quick introduction and then we'll say hi to everybody that's here watching live. I appreciate you dropping by for number number 50. How do, you, how do I do 50? Five, zero. Anyways, uh, we do live streams. If you're watching this on the recording, we do live streams every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, five o'clock mountain time. Uh, so you can join us live if you are watching as the recording. Uh, to consider subscribing and joining us on a upcoming live stream where we cook uh, easy, simple dinners. This is the 50th episode, so thanks everybody for joining me. I see that Mike is here. Hello, Mike. Uh, Mike joined in. Mike's been joining us from the beginning, so that's awesome. And Freddie's here. Yeah, 50. I know. I, I Freddie, I looked back on the videos now. I think Christina is probably going to be tuning in if she's not already. She's the one that counted it up for me. So 50. The first one was on March 21st. So we've been doing it pretty consistently, obviously. I think I missed I missed one or two. I I'd have to uh, I'd have to uh, I'm laughing at Dean there. I have to I'd have to double check and see if we actually because I know we missed a couple, but pretty good for 50. So and I don't look at the over 42. Thanks, Dean. <laughs> and uh, that's too good. And congrats, thanks, Christine. I appreciate everybody that joins in every time. Uh, we've got all the always got the the regular the regulars that pop in, which is appreciated. And we've uh, always every once in a while we'll get someone new. So if you are new and just watching, lurking, that's okay. If you want, just say hi. If you have a question, let us know. If you have questions as we're cooking, what we do in the channel is all fairly straightforward and easy, but. If there's something in particular that you want to know, let me know. Uh, I used to be a chef, so this is kind of the idea of the uh, of the channel to help everybody out, show them some new things. Hopefully, everybody that's has watched 50 episodes uh, have have learned a few things and um, along the way and and tried some new things as well. Some new uh, I'm I'm gonna hopefully guess some chilies because we we like to use those, we use those a lot. Um, that was yeah. I and my mom's here, so I say hi, mom. And yes, the one I missed was with Kel Kelsey's fault. That's right. We were hiking and we got delayed and I got caught in a rainstorm without windshield wipers working properly. So I had to take my time getting home. Uh, but that's okay. It's okay to miss one. And Stephanie's here. Welcome. Hopefully I haven't missed anybody. And oh, there we go. So we do have a new viewer. Hi, Atai Campbell. Welcome. This is your first time here. This is our 50th episode. My favorite food. You know what? you came at a perfect time. So one of my favorite foods is I like, I love Mexican food. So we're going to cook an easy like quesadilla recipe. I'm glad I actually picked this recipe today because it's funny when I first posted on the video, the channel, I wasn't, I was, we said quesadillas done the one before and I didn't post a recipe. And then Freddie, I know Freddie, I think you're going to be following along. He's like, where's the recipe for this? And I was just going to throw something together because it's Friday and we were out all day today. We did a walk and we were out late last night filming, like we went out, uh, took a big dri long drive and went out and filmed the sunset. And so uh, today's easy uh, quesadillas. We're gonna do a vegetarian quesadilla. We're gonna do black, black bean and corn quesadillas and then we'll make a fresh pico de gallo. So this is one of, actually one of my favorite kind of quick and simple dishes. So let's, uh, let's go through the ingredients. If we have, I think, um, I think uh, if Freddie is following along, let me know if anybody else is following along. We'll do this. We'll do this together. This one's a simple one, so it's not going to take long. We can take our time. We can chat. Enjoy the fiftieth. Yeah. Uh, so black beans, black beans and uh, corn. Can of black beans. These ones are no no salt added. The label the label's falling off. I I, got, I wanted to cook these before the label falls off, and I forget what they are. Uh, and we don't unfortunately have any fresh corn because that would have been nice to use. But we'll have we've got the kernel corn in the can. And we'll we'll use this so simple dinner tonight. We're not gonna go we're not gonna go crazy, but we are going to make so we'll, we're gonna we're gonna saute all that off together. We'll spice it up. We're gonna add some onion in there, and then we're gonna make a fresh uh, pico de gallo salsa. So I've got some we've got some uh, tomato fresh tomato. We'll chop up with a little bit of uh, lime in there. Uh, we got some garlic. We'll put some garlic in there for, uh, as well as in the taco, uh, or the quesadilla, quesadilla filling. Fresh cilantro. And I am going to spice up the salsa with, uh, we've got a jalapeno. So I'm going to use up jalapeno and uh, 
we'll put that in there to spice things up. And I've got some plain, uh, it's, it's good with, they're good with sour cream on top. And uh, I'm gonna put a little bit, we don't have sour cream, but I got some plain Greek yogurt I'm gonna use for the topping on there. So we'll use that. Quesadilla, Sam, welcome. Yeah, my favorite quesadillas. And no cheese, we don't have a lot of sodium. If everybody knows from watching all the, ch all the channel. Um, so we're omitting the cheese, but uh, feel free if you're making it, Freddie, or anybody else is making it. Yeah, cheddar cheese is nice in there, grated uh, mozzarella cheese, Monterey Jack, anything you want. So, um, but we're gonna do these ones veggies as well. You can also put any kind of other filling in there. If you had some leftover chicken, it would be nice chopped up there. Some leftover, if you had a little bit of beef left, cubed it up, put it in. Super simple quesadillas, but we're doing veggies. And everybody's here. Lois is here. Hey, welcome. We're doing quesadillas tonight, Lois. So let's let's uh, let's get started. I'm gonna try and not to cut my finger today on anything. We're not peeling anything, thankfully. Oh, who was that? Super chat. Super chat. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, Stephanie. That's appreciated. So we'll use that. We'll put it towards the channel. That's so cool. Thank you. So fun. The light. The light works. And. Uh, Nadia, no, welcome. Uh, no, no cheese. We're on the we're on the uh, diet quesadillas. I know cheese would be. I know, I know, but uh, no, no cheese today. So let's uh, let's get started. <laughs> no cheese, no cheese. Let's uh, get this. Let's get the uh, ca the quesadilla filling going first. So I'm gonna open up the cans first. Oh, and Lois, hi, and Nancy's watching too. It does need, Mike, it does need cheese. I know we don't have any though, and we don't eat it. cheese, really. We'll have a little bit of Parmesan every once in a while, but that's not really that great in uh, quesadillas. It's more for Italian food, so, um, yeah. So we're gonna rinse the, we're gonna drain the liquid and rinse the beans off. So technically, these are actually like a vegan recipe if we're not putting any cheese in there. So if anybody is vegan that is watching, this is a recipe to try. But you can have, uh, you can have cheese if you want cheese. Um, and uh, yeah, I have the light so it reminds Nadia so I can see it because I have a bad, if so if, if you go and do a super chat, uh, it lights up the disco light. I need to get disco music or something. I have, you know what? I have a. I'll have to do it next time. I'll, I, have, I have a. I do have. There are sound effects on this system, but. and uh, we'll open up the corn, as well, and we're just going to drain that all together, and uh, give it a quick rinse to rinse all the that bean that bean juice off and let it drain for a minute. And in the meantime, we'll cut up the onion. So we'll let that drain in the sink. Yeah, no, Sam, it is good without cheese. It's good with, it's really good with cheese, but it's also good without cheese, so. Let's, uh, so I'm gonna, use, we're gonna dice up an onion for inside the, the quesadilla mix here that we're gonna saute. Uh, I'm only gonna use, I'm gonna use the whole onion, but I'm only gonna use half for, half for the quesadillas, and I'm gonna put half in the uh, salsa, pico de gallo. So we will cut it and dice it all up at the same, at the same time, so we uh, so we have it uh, have it ready. There we go. And I'm gonna need this bowl, so I'm just gonna transfer this out of here because I'm gonna put it all in that bowl. So dice up the onion. It's um. Yeah, we could do, we could do, uh, so, a uh, Lois super chat. So the super chat, you don't have to, Lois, by any means, but if you look in the chat, there's like a little thing, you can send like a little sticker or a, you can send a message with a donation and that's how, that's a super chat. So it just kind of pops up a little bit differently and it shows up on the, the chat, but you don't feel obligated to do anything like that. Um, and I can't play, I don't think, uh, I don't think I can play any ABBA or like 
music on here because of uh, you, YouTube doesn't like the copyright. So um, I don't know. We all have to hum it in your uh, in your head. So I'm gonna dice the whole onion, uh, but only put half into the in the frying pan when the time comes. We'll leave the other half for the salsa. And uh, healthier without cheese? Yes. So no cheese. That's our that's our thing. Healthier. Trying to stay healthy. I think we did a pretty good job on the ch on the on the on the channel, cooking healthy for the last fifty episodes for the most part. I know we had, I think the the we did the well we did the air fryer French fries, but we did those air fryer chili ch like those chili ch uh, chili fries. Uh, that was kind of I think the that would have been the um, the most kind of unhealthy unhealthy item but that was still veggie that was a vegetarian chili and there was no cheese in that one either so that was actually with the air fried air fried french fries um still healthy so we did pretty good and uh what's oh swear oh who's trying to teach me to swear i'm trying to swear no i don't swear <laughs> i'm crying though because those, those onions holy those are ripe Okay, let's get this cooking. Hopefully, Freddie, you're taking notes and you can, you can see. But what you can also do, other people as well, is you can always come back and view the, cha uh, the videos stay online. Even though they're, like, they're live now, you won't be able to obviously chat. But you can still leave comments. But you can go back and fast forward to different parts if you see something that uh, uh, follow along later on. You can fast forward all the, all the, ramb all the, ram all the rambling on. And the tie, she was a T-Rex, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> We're eating, you know what, we eat, I mean, we still do eat meat, we eat, we eat chicken, uh, some fish. We don't have a lot of red meat very often. Can't remember the last time we had burgers or something like that, not very often. Um, but uh, most of the stuff we've been doing lately is actually vegetarian, just because it's trying to stay healthier. It's also summer, so we'll be doing lots of salads and stuff on the, on the channel. Um, Oh, Christine says buffering is bad. You know what it might be, Christine? It might be because Jason's on the network as well. So he might have to uh, log off maybe if too many, too many things are on. But it might be, it might be, um, it just might be YouTube. So nothing I, nothing I, I can do, but we'll carry on. If I know with a buffering, it will uh, adjust afterwards when it's... Uh, after it's live, so. All right, so in the pan. And a little bit of olive oil, not much. T teaspoon or so, just so the onions don't stick. Yeah, my mom swears. So there we go. <laughs> so we'll warm that up. Uh, the onions, uh, roughly half, we're gonna throw in. Do the rest, the rest raw for, um, and uh, that's good. Well, there you go, Stephanie. Thanks for tuning in to the ramp to the rambling. <laughs> We're gonna saute the onions, and uh, put those in there, and then we'll we'll get the pico de gallo started after this is going. So we just want to saute these off, translucent. We're gonna add the. Uh, the corn and beans to this. We made, you know what, we made something similar to this earlier before on the channel. We did like corn and black bean rice. So this is very similar, just no rice. And then we're gonna make them into quesadillas. All right. And if, so if, oh, it must be, yeah, so it must be different people's internet. Stephanie, I don't, I don't know. So hopefully it's working. We're gonna add the Beans and the corn, all at once. And just give it a good mix. And really, all we're doing is just kind of heating this up. The onions, once the onions are cooked, we're gonna heat this up. 
all the way through and let it sit. So in there, I'm going to add a, I've got a little bit of, um, we're gonna put some chipotle, we've got the nice chipotle pepper, so it's gonna give it a nice kind of smoky, smoky taste in there. And I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of that. If you don't like chipotle pepper, uh, you can add a little bit of, if you have chili, like the pre-done chili powder, you can definitely put a little bit of that in. Some cumin. Uh, you could also put some chili flakes in there. And also I'm gonna put in some paprika. So we're kind of making, we're making, uh, this is a bit of smoked paprika I'm gonna put in there. We're kind of making taco seasoning mix without the salt in it. Um, and yeah, good call, good call, uh, good call, Kelsey. Uh, yes, you could saute those in there. We're gonna put them, we're gonna cut them up and put them raw in the salsa, so. The chipotle is nice with the corn. Nice sweet, nice sweet corn, kind of smoky, smoky chipotle. And we're just heating that through. I'm gonna put a bit of pepper in there too. Oh, the spice, yeah, Kelsey, the spice merchant is awesome. We're gonna have to be getting a, another uh, shipment. <laughs> I need to get more mustard, because I wanna do that, I wanna do the recipe to show how to make Dijon mustard. Uh, they have mustard seeds at the spice merchant. So all we're doing with this is heating it up all the way through, because there's no, it just has to heat up the beans and, and corn. It smells good. Got that kind of smoky taste. What I'm going to do is turn the dust down to low to keep it uh, to keep it warm. I guess I could show it. So down on it's just down, turn low, let it kind of simmer, and the spices will kind of simmer and cook. And then I'm going to start cutting up the salsa for pico de gallo. There's a recipe on the we did. Uh, I did a recipe for this as well. Uh, so if you want to see like. The, a slower version of how to cut everything up. There's one on my channel as well. You can check out. So we've got the onions already done. <laughs> and uh, you guys are bantering along without me here. Um, and uh, da, da, da. Yeah, no, 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 you come out today. It's all gone. It's all gone. <laughs> it's too funny. Let's uh, tomatoes. So onions already cooked. We're gonna take uh, four tomatoes. And we want to, um, we want to take the seeds out. So cut them in quarters. Got to take the, uh, I'm just going to move that out of the way. And then you can see my cutting board hopefully a little bit better. Let's move this. Let's move that there. There we go. Perfect. So what we want to do is get rid of the, get rid of the uh, inside of the tomato. So we're just going to use our knife to Take the seeds out. Like so. And these are just regular field tomatoes that we're using for this. And then just every few minutes here, just you don't want the the beans to burn. And they're ready. So they're on low. Let's let them sit. And I'll try not to cut my finger today. I cut my finger on the peeler, the tip of my pinky. 
I've never, I haven't, knock on wood, cut myself with a knife lately. <laughs> so let's try not to. Let's try not to. And actually, oh, I shouldn't be talking about that, but I've never actually had stitches. Of all the times cooking, I actually never had to get stitches from, from cutting myself with a knife. I had to go to the hospital one time because I did cut myself bad, but it didn't need to have stitches. Um, I keep putting the wrong one in there. Uh, so that's, yeah, interesting. I was cooking for, for years and thankfully never had a stitches. So that was, that's always good. So I'm hoping to not, to not, uh, not have, not have them either. So, and uh, let's see here. Uh, da, da, da. I can make, yeah, t tomato paste. It's easier definitely to buy tomato paste, Christine. That's right. And tomatoes, we are just going to dice up into pieces for our fresh pico. Now, if anybody's been to Mexico, you've had this in the afternoons, sitting around the pool with tortilla chips. But it's also good on quesadillas. Okay, I'm just going to turn off the... Uh, the corn and beans. It is uh, it is ready to go. We'll just keep it warm because we're going to be cooking the case inside the quesadilla again. And by the time we grill off the quesadillas, it'll kind of as long as it's warm, it'll it'll be warm enough inside. So you could really make that ahead of time. You just have to heat it up again. It'll last a few days in the fridge. So if you have some, if you do have leftovers, you can definitely re definitely reheat it. Make up more more quesadillas. It would also be good on nachos. If you have uh, making up with some nachos to watch Netflix. And, oh, my mom's asking, hold on here, if I don't like, I don't, um, I, well, I don't like the insides of tomatoes, no. Um, but for this recipe, it calls for cutting the insides out. Um, because it's, if you were to leave the seeds in, it would be more watery. So it's, it would be kind of more like, more like a salsa. So it would be like a run, runnier. Where this way, it's just the chunks of tomatoes. So when you put it on the, when you put it on top of the quesadillas, it's not going to make it all soggy because from the, the, all the water in the tomatoes. And uh, yeah, and uh, oh, thanks Kelsey. Yeah, take care, have a good weekend. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And uh, oh, there we go. Hey Pam, welcome, thank you. Oh, hopefully everything is okay. I know you had waiting on some stuff, so don't worry about here. Thanks for popping in, but hopefully everything's okay. There we go, tomatoes, done. So this is a fast, fast recipe to cook the pico. And if Freddie's still watching, are you gonna be making the salsa, this pico de gallo tonight too, or are you just gonna use, you're gonna use like a jar, pre-made, pre-made salsa. And yeah, so we agree. I don't like it's it's very it, it's I don't I don't like it because it's too it's very acidic, and it just uh, yeah I don't uh, I don't even like I don't even like having like a slice a sliced tomato, um, just because it's the 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 inside it I just don't like it <laughs> just don't like it so let's get the uh, jalapeno jalapeno chopped in there now too. We'll leave the seeds in so it gives us a bit of. A bit of a bit of a spice, a bit of a kick. But if you don't like it super hot, you could definitely either a omit the jalapeno, or you could you could if you take the seeds out, you can 
take away some of the heat. So if you don't like hot, just leave it out. A little bit of hot, take the seeds out. Jalapenos aren't that spicy. Um, I mean, they're hot for me a little bit, not crazy. Jason could eat these for a snack by themselves without, a, without any problem, but. So there we go. Jalapenos inside. And then be sure to wash your hands after. Hey, Diane, welcome. Thanks for joining us again. And ready, yeah, pre-made. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. We're not judging, next time. Next time you can do, check out the video and do the, the actual, actual recipe. Um, and then you'll never buy pre-made stuff again. And Nadia will judge, yes. <laughs> that's that. We're gonna put in the, uh, I've got a lime to squeeze in there. But first we'll grate in some of the, grate in some of the zest, in the microplane. I've got two limes to use. Here we go. And squeeze the juice. And oh yeah, Stephanie, I agree. Some of the some of the stuff, uh, some of the some of the salsa stuff in the jar. Some of it's great actually, but yeah, some of it not not, not so good. We'll squeeze the limes in. There. Two limes. And uh, have we tried pickle with jalapenos? No, we haven't done pickled jalapenos, but that'd be kind of interesting to maybe try. We'll have to do something with the peppers once they're growing, because I know uh, Stephanie just asked that question here, how the peppers coming along. We've got one that's about, we've got one that's starting to grow. It's still green, it's about that, that big. And some of the other ones have started to, started to, to, to flower. So we'll be have, we'll have, a, we're going to have a lot of peppers. Um, but some of them are like, I actually don't know. I can't remember the name, but one of them I know is like the, if it's not the hottest, um, if it's not the hottest pepper, Jason would know it's, it's, it's like, it's like number two, it's called the, it's Carolina Reaper. So I, it's like, it's like a gazillion, gazillion on the hot scale of pepper, of pepper. So, um, haven't made homemade ketchup. Haven't, don't eat, it's funny. I used to be like a ketchup, ketchup, ketchup freak. Um, but since starting to cook more at home and everything else and make everything from scratch, I haven't had it. So I don't know. I could have to look for some, uh, some, some recipes for sure. But I haven't made it homemade. Uh, okay, cilantro. I've already washed this. We're just gonna chop this in. Just a rough, rough chop. But I should, I'll, you know what, Sam, I'll have to try that because it was kind of fun making the Dijon. So, yeah. We'll have to try the pickled, pep pickled peppers. Um, I know the tortillas, yeah, no, we're doing, uh, that's one thing from a package that uh, I haven't attempted to make yet is the tortillas. Although I've looked at recipes online for making tortillas and Dean, it's uh, something I want to do. I would probably eat tortillas every day then, um, but uh, not today, we're gonna use the package. We always buy the, the package. Um, but uh, there's something about going to a restaurant and having, like I've been to a couple of restaurants in, in Mexico where they, where they actually make their tortillas in front of you. They roll them out and they'll, they'll it's like night and day. <laughs> 
from from the store bought ones, but um, yeah, I haven't I haven't attempted yet. There's only so many hours in the day, so we'll maybe it's on the list. It's on the list, but I haven't done it yet. So there we go. We'll mix the uh, up the pico. We'll leave that on the uh, we'll just leave that on the side. We'll have that uh, in a little bit when everything is is ready. So we've got the we've got the beans. They're warm. You can see them steaming there. It smells nice, nice and smoky. So let's get the quesadillas rolling. I'm gonna do them in the cast iron, cast iron pan, so we can get a bit of gives a nice, nice grill on it. So let's heat, let's heat that up. And then we'll almost be ready to eat. So another, another. Um, And Trinidad, so yeah, Trinidad Scorpion. I think that's, uh, yeah, I think we have those. I, there's a whole bunch, we have so many, we have so many peppers. I, I, I couldn't tell you all, <laughs> I couldn't tell you all. <laughs> but, so we know that Freddie here is having, gonna be making these later on. What's everybody else? What's everybody, uh, are this pan heats up? What's everybody else having for, for um, uh, dinner? I know, you need so many things, right? All these kitchen gadgets that I need. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, homemade, not homemade, I know. The one thing that we buy. So Freddie's gonna have quesadillas. What, Nadia, what are you having? What's it, and Dean, Christine, what are you guys having there for dinner on a Friday? It's, now again, maybe it's barbecue weather. I don't know, it's been raining, I think over there for most people? Is it still raining there today? I'm not sure. It's been super warm here today, so it's been nice. Went out for, went out for a walk and uh, it's been sunny, which is good. I've never actually made tortillas. I don't think they're that hard though. I'm gonna do uh, I'll just do one. They're little. I'll do one and try it. No, I'll do two. Let's do, let's do two. Ooh, cabbage casserole sounds good. So it's like cabbage rolls without the roll. Like a lasagna cabbage roll kind of stacked, I guess, would be how you would, uh, how you would do it. So medium, medium heat as this warms up. Garlic herb cheese curds. I don't know what that, I know what cheese curds are. Are that, that's like, you could put those on poutine. I don't know if cheese curds, Stephanie, is the best thing to have just for, <laughs> just for dinner. <laughs> Mike's having chicken. What are, you, uh, what are you making with the chicken, Mike? Is it, uh, hopefully you're making something from scratch or is it, is it pre-done? All right, let's get these, uh, let's get these going. What I find works works well is like a little scoop, a little measuring. So pans heated up. You don't actually need any. There's enough. It's kind of this one's already seasoned, so you don't need any oil on the bottom, which is good. And I make. You can do these a couple of ways. This is where you would put the topping on. If you have any cheese, you could definitely put the cheese on first. But I like to do them this way, and then and then fold fold them on half. Some people will put topping along the whole thing and then put another piece on top. I find it easier to fold to flip. And uh, so Nadia was too lazy to roll. Good call, Nadia. So, sounds like me today. And oh yeah, Stephanie, I have used my pasta machine again. I'll have to do another pasta episode for the, for the fresh. And who is this? Let's just see here. Oh, it's Christine. Super chat. Tortilla press, okay, I guess that, that, that's a call for tortillas, that's too funny. Okay, I have to start looking for tor tortilla, tortilla, uh, there we go. Oh, okay, here, this is here, we'll do this here. Cl cover your ears. There we go, sound effect. <laughs> Hopefully it worked, I can't hear. All right. And we're burning, we're burning these here because of the, the super. So that's, uh, that's done one, 
take it on the side. This stuff we can put in the next. And then we'll get it all, we'll get it all ready. <laughs> like that. Thanks, Christine. Okay, I'll look for a, I will look for a, uh, a tortilla press. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna assume, I think Amazon will have them for sure. And just carefully, there we go, tuck that in. And we'll get our plate ready. That's too funny. Hopefully the sound, hopefully the sound worked. I can't hear it on my screen, so it's supposed to be like an air horn, I think. <laughs> Uh, Natai Campbell. Yeah, thanks. If it's if it's bedtime, go to bed. Thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in the first time. If you want, uh, make sure to subscribe and come come back again or check out us check us out on the replays. There we go. We've got quesadillas. I'm gonna do do one more while I got the toppings out. Yeah, so Nadia and I know because I've had quesadillas at Nadia's house, and she's not a she's not a flipper. She'll do two layers. It does hold together more with cheese, but it's okay. I find it easier to get out of the pan and stuff, Nadia, like if it's just half the size. And these are the medium. I think these are the medium sized. These are the medium sized quesadillas. So they. Um, well, we can have a few, medium. And uh, that's too funny. And Lorenzo's here. Hey, Lorenzo. You have, Lorenzo likes quesadillas too, I know that. He likes cheese quesadillas. <laughs> we'll get these ready. And the glue does hold. Um, let's see. Mixed tortilla. I'll have to figure out. I will, Stephanie. I will figure that out. I'll read the reviews too. There we go. Ready. Let's uh, let's put these on a plate. I like to cut them. We'll move that there. Let's uh, let's get these let's get these ready, and we'll give them a taste because I'm hungry. And I'm gonna have mine with a little bit of, a little bit of yogurt. I've got, I've got some plain, just some plain yogurt that I like having with, uh, with my. Um, yeah, they look, uh, they're looking good actually. So I'll cut them in half. I'm just gonna do two. Let's see how many we can put on here. Put them around. And then we'll put the, uh, if you got any extra topping, put that in there. I'll get a spoon for the salsa. And the sour cream. There we go. And if you don't like sour cream, you don't have to put that on there. Lorenzo likes cheese quesadillas. See, I knew that. I knew that. Um, just a touch of yogurt if you want. There we go. Vegetarian, black bean and corn quesadillas. Those look pretty good. Yeah. And uh, poutine, hey, if I can make poutine. I, I could do poutine, Stephanie, in the deep fryer, uh, not the deep fryer, the air fryer. Yeah, could try that. Although it's totally not, it's totally not, it's totally not good for you. <laughs> it tastes really good, but it's not good for you. All the gravy and stuff. Um, so there we go. Hopefully, 
There we go. Oh, and I got a, oh, something does pop up on the thing. Thanks, Nadia, super chat. You just want to hear this? Here we go, as we eat to hear. This is too funny. Thanks, you guys. You don't have to do this. Here we go. <laughs> Happy 50th. Thank you so much. That's too funny. Happy 50th. I don't feel the day over 43. Let's taste, let's taste these. So those look pretty good. Hopefully you got a good, you can see a good shot of it. Doesn't always focus. Let's, let's show you in that one. There we go. Nice veggie quesadillas. They look good. I'm going to eat one while it's hot. Let you know how it tastes. It smells, it smells good. And these medium ones, when they cut up, they get kind of bite sized. So. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, a little bit of spice. That chipotle that we bought definitely has, it definitely has a little kick. Nice, it's like a smoky, nice smoky spice. Um, perfect for this being uh, being vegetarian. I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna use a fork so they don't fall everywhere. Get all the sauce. Happy, hmm. Excuse me, happy 50th. Thanks everybody for coming. This was fun, this was a good one. Easy recipe today, so it was easy to do. Freddie, once you try it, come make sure you come back, and if anybody else tries it as well, let me know how you how you enjoy how you enjoyed it. I'm gonna have one more bite because this is pretty good. Yeah, tasty. The Quesadilla, once you because you cook it off like that, it gets nice and crunchy, but still soft on the in the middle, and uh, nice little bite. Mm, thanks, Freddie. Thanks for joining me. I know it's hard to. I love quesadillas. I love anything Mexican. I like I like Mex like soft tacos. I like quesadillas. Basically anything. Anything Mexican, but, and there we go. So I'm gonna make a few more. We're gonna have these tonight. And what's the dance, like the, the super dance? <laughs> it's too funny. <laughs> I'll have to invent one, uh, invent a super chat dance on that thing. No, I appreciate it. We'll get, we'll get some new gadgets for the channel. It's always kind of fun. Um, and a good, good call, uh, uh, Dean, yeah. Come onto my Facebook and post on my Facebook or my uh, on the Facebook page, um, and let me know how it goes. And if you put cheese, yes, you can you can post pictures with cheese on too. So let's leave it at that. If you have any questions, you can always leave a comment down below. If you're trying to make it, we're gonna go enjoy our quesadillas. And I don't know if Jason wants to say hi or not. Maybe he does. He's here. Quick hi. He needs a haircut badly. And. Uh, <laughs> He's working on a video. We've been filming. We've been filming a whole bunch of stuff, going into parks and stuff, and filming, filming videos. So he's working on editing some some video. I'm gonna have one more bite before we sign off. Mm. So thanks everyone. Black bean corn quesadillas, vegetarian. Fiftieth episode. Thanks everybody for joining us. Ever since March, March fourteenth. Um, we'll keep going. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I think next week I've got a bit of stuff on the go outside of this. So I probably won't be doing live all week. I'll see how, this, how the schedule goes, but the plan is to carry, carry this on. You'll see it posted on the, on the channel. Uh, so if you, see the, if you do see it posted and when you're subscribed, hit the reminder and you'll get reminded when it goes live. And uh, the, for the next uh, live stream, Dean, I will dance. I will do a, maybe do a spin as well. But until then, have a great weekend, everybody. Don't forget, wash your hands and we'll see you. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.